Welcome back to Infigam friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting algebraic challenging equation challenge that is from quartic equations. So equation is 4x plus 5 whole square times 2x plus 3 times x plus 1 equal to 9. We have to find out real values of x. So let's get started by writing our equation in this manner. I will write 4x plus 5 whole square unchanged this bracket I am going to multiply with 2 and divide by 2. So once I will multiply with 2, I will write 4x plus 6. So I need to divide by 2 also. Similarly, third bracket x plus 1, I need to multiply with 4. Done. Now divide by 4 also. So that value won't change. Now you can see easily 4x plus 5, 4x plus 6, 4x plus 4. So if you will check these three brackets, now it is in the number line order. So we can presume the middle term 4x plus 5 equal to y. So let us give substitution. Let 4x plus 5 equal to y. So from here I can easily write when 4x plus 5 is equal to y, then 4x plus 6 will be y plus 1. And 4x plus 4 will be y minus 1. Let's put the value in the given equation here. So I can write it is y square. Then 4x plus 6 that is y plus 1 over 2. 4x plus 4 over 4. So 4x plus 4 is y minus 1 over 4 equal to 9. Now multiply both sides with 8. So I can write y square times y plus 1 times y minus 1 equal to 72. Now you can see difference of two squares. The formula is there a plus b a minus b. So we will write a square minus b square. So let me write here y square in bracket y square minus 1 equal to 72. As we know, a square minus b square is a plus b times a minus b. So we have used the vice versa result. Once a plus b times a minus b is written, any time we can write a square minus b square. Let's expand this or directly give substitution y square is equal to t. So if I will expanding it, then I will get y power 4 minus y square minus 72 equal to 0. Now y square is there. So I will consider let y square is equal to suppose t. So I can write t square minus t minus 72 equal to 0. So this is one quadratic equation for which we have to find out solution. So t value I will use Sidrachar formula minus b. So 1 plus minus square root b square so minus 1 square is 1 minus 4 ac so minus times minus plus 4 times 72 so 288 4 times 70 is 280 plus 8 divided by 2 here i can write 1 plus minus square root 289 over 2 now we know that square root 289 is 17. So I will write 1 plus minus 17 over 2. So from here I can write using plus sign means in between plus sign if you will consider then 18 over 2 9 and minus sign once you will consider then minus 16 over 2 so minus 8. Remember our substitution y square is equal to t and the very first substitution was 4x plus 5 equal to y. Let me write here 4x plus 5 equal to y and second substitution is y square is equal to t. So we will write t is equal to 9 and t is equal to minus 8. Now let us put the value of t. t was y square. So I will write y square is equal to 9 and here we can write y square is equal to minus 8 which I can consider using complex number 8 times i square as we all know 
i is equal to square root minus 1. So i square will be minus 1. So 8 i square. Now consider square root both sides. So for first equation, I can write y is equal to plus minus 3. Done. Now from the second equation, once I will take square root, then I can write plus minus, I will be there, square root 8, 4 times 2, so 2 root 2. So we are having 4 values, 2 are real and 2 are imaginary. Now one substitution is left, that is our very first substitution, 4x plus 5 equal to y, if you remember. Then we can put the value of y here, that is 4x plus 5, and let's find out the x value. So I will write here, 4x plus 5 equal to plus minus 3. Take away 5 from both sides. So 4x will be equal to plus minus 3 minus 5. 4x is equal to, once I will consider plus sign, then minus 2, 3 minus 5 is minus 2, and minus 3 minus 5 is minus 8. Divide both sides with 4. So x will become minus 2 over 4. So I will write minus half, minus 8 over 4, minus 2. So there are two real x values. x is equal to negative half, and x is equal to negative 2. From the second equation, if I will put, I will collect the real, the imaginary values basically, non-real values. So let me put and find out those values also. 4x plus 5 is equal to plus minus 2i root 2. Take away 5. So 4x will become minus 5 plus minus 2i root 2. Divide both sides with 4. So here we are having two complex solution for x. So these are our complex solution. Let us verify the real one, verification of the solution. So let me write here, verification. So first I will put or check for x is equal to minus half. Okay. So once I will put minus half, then I can write minus 2 plus 5 whole square. Then I will put minus half, so minus 1 plus 3 plus sign is there. And minus half, then I can directly write minus half plus 1, so half. Okay, so 5 minus 2, 3 whole square, 9. 3 minus 1, 2, so 9 times 2 times half. So this value is coming out, 9, which is our RHS. So verified it is. Now come to the second value, x is equal to negative 2. Let's check minus 2, then it will become minus 8 plus 5. So let me write directly, minus 8 plus 5, minus 3, whole square. Then minus 4 plus 3, minus 1. Then minus 2 plus 1, minus 1. Once you will take product, then minus square is plus. So 9 times minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. So you will get 9, which is our RHS, hence verified. If you want to check complex value also, take the help of Wolfram Alpha. So we can find out the verification also easily. I hope this video will be somewhere meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care. And once again, I am writing our final solution, minus 2 and minus half real valued. Bye-bye.